Great bass response is hard to achieve, especially in a smaller room. There's a wide variety of bass traps available and knowing which one is best for you isn't always obvious. Bass frequencies also tend to have a lot more energy than treble frequencies. It's common to see bass traps stack floor to ceiling in the vertical corners of a room, but there are actually eight more corners that can benefit from bass trapping. The corners along your floor and ceiling that run along the perimeter of your room also cause bass buildup issues and can benefit from treatment. Finding your bass hotspots will tell you exactly where in your room you need to focus your treatment. If you only have a few panels available, this is where you're going to want to put them. Coverage area, or the total surface area of all of your bass traps relative to your room size, is going to be the biggest determinant in your performance. But things like panel thickness and placement will also make a difference. The thicker the panel, the lower the effect of range, but your mids and highs are still going to be affected. If you're in a room where bass response is very important, make sure to use the thickest panels available to you. Broadband bass traps and possibly even range limited bass traps should always be the starting point and foundation for a great bass response in a small room. All of our bass traps are listed with useful graphs so you know exactly what effective range they have. If you have any more questions about our bass traps or if you just want general room tips, hit us up on our website or check out our free acoustic advice form as well as our other useful online tools.